Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Unmaking 2. And today I'm going to be giving you part 20 of What If Naruto Was Put Through Hell and Adopted by the Raikage. Remember to get this one to 100 likes as usual. Share this to all of your friends in your social media platform. And also, guys, go ahead and check out the Anime King where I post a brand new episode of What If Naruto was told about the Uzuma clan from the beginning and enjoyed that guys and he also posted a brand new episode of what if Naruto was the legendary neglected Uzumaki so go ahead and check out that and stay tuned for a brand new episode coming over on King 3 if you're new yes you heard that correctly I indeed have three channels that I post what ifs on every single day for you guys to enjoy so go ahead and click that red subscribe button to become part of the Making family and thank you for all for your help and your support remember to comment down below and tell me if you're new I'll be replying talking about to all of you so yeah, without further ado, what do you say begin this new episode? Start the intro. So, the last spot we left off as Naruto had to act as calm as usual as Minato was there, seeing that Naruto do a good job for them in the tuning exams. As he acted calm, he acted normal, like everything was going to be okay. Minato, none of them knew what was going to happen, as Naruto has already got the information out of the prisoners that he captured from the hidden sound. So with that, he just relaxed. As he went towards the hospital, where Konohamaru was waiting for Hanabi to come to find him, as it was kind of a little game that he loved to play. Because he had a crush on her, as Naruto had enough as he told the girl and right in front of Konohamaru as she blushed and looked down. As Konohamaru was surprised that she didn't deny it because she said that she didn't hate him. As Naruto waited in there until Sumaira came in, as she revealed her identity to be Katsumi, as she told him that he would be free. As she told him that she knew everything that their horrible parents did to him and Urchumar Sama was gonna give him freedom, as he was able to make sure he get freedom. As she left and told him not to worry. As Naruto already knew that it was her, but everything was already placed in motion. The next day, Donzo had Naruto. As he removed the seals from Naruto as the test started. As Minato was wondering where the hell Naruto was. Until he arrived in a completely different outfit. No longer wearing the Uzumaki symbol and the Kumo headband. As Minato was pissed off at that, but at the moment he couldn't do anything about it. Kushina was just happy that he was here. As the matches started along until Naruto was to face off against Gara. As Gara stood there, as the both of them started to battle, but yet Naruto was moving as fast as he could, as Gara ended up grabbing him with his hand and squashed him. A lot of events happened in that moment. So he could feel Naruto though as he knew that Naruto was not dead as Kushina lost it. As Orochimaru started the invasion and brought the barrier, as he trapped Minato inside, as the barrier could shut off all communications outside, so he couldn't flash to his higher shades. As snakes came down and started to take out ninjas. As Kakashi saw Naruto, things were not done because he made a plan with Danzo. As a clone of Naruto was with the council members with Danzo. As he spoke about the misdeeds that Minato did and what he did to him and Naruto promised that he would keep his mouth shut as long as Danzo became Hokage. As Danzo was good to have in a backing of someone like Naruto in the Kumo position and Konoha would be all his. As Sinati asked how they could trust Naruto, as he should be the one asked them that after what the hell he has been through. As they had to agree with it, if the daimyo found out about this, so found out that Konoha well Minato broke the rules on the alliance and not to mention the peace trade that the line of iron had to offer. Well, Danzo was now the new Hokage and they made it permanent. But then a giant shadow started to illuminate the village. Sasuke was pissed off when he saw Naruto alive as Karen used that and took him out. She didn't kill him, she placed him down though, as she called him worthless. As Urchumar gave her the goal to make sure that he broke Sasuke fighting spirit and told him how weak he was, so to make sure that he would come over to his side. With that, she and Katsumi made their way off, as Naruto was standing on top of Kuro's head, as Kuro was flying, taking out opponents here and there with his tail, as he was large, hovering over Kanoha. As Minato saw Naruto standing up there, as he was no longer a pawn, no longer shackles, 
but Kushner had lost it as she went crazy. As her hand had transformed into a demonic arm from the Cavus Chakra that resided in her, as she was gonna rip Gara to shreds for killing her son because she was too focused on her bloodlust, she didn't even notice that Naruto was alive. So, yeah, guys, so basically, that's what I thought you guys can switch across the place, check out for yourself. So, what you see in this new episode, Gara was transforming, but she did not care. At Jinjuliki, he had killed her son. She could grab the Kaibu by his tails with her chains and threw him around. So Gara wasn't a threat to her as she did not care about the one tails. She was gonna win as she was gonna tear him apart. As her chains shot forward as she grabbed Gara and ripped him out of his sand construct. She grabbed him and pulled him out of it as his sand could not stop her chains. She smashed him against the wall several times before slamming him into the ground as the chains pinned him down. Several more chains emerged from her as they pierced into Gara. You killed my son. I'm killing you, she said. I will never hear him say mom anymore, seeing him smile anymore because of you, you monster, and I will make sure you die. As she blabbered, hitting him again and against Gara. Sand defense was absolutely nothing compared to her chains. Gara was scared, even Shikaku was scared. The bloodthirsty raccoon was scared of these chains, but Gara wouldn't die. He'd rather go all out as the sand exploded outwards. Kushina was thrown backwards, but she slammed her chains in the ground, stopping herself as Shikaku, growing enormous, was able to get a hold of himself. Damn, and I thought that was mad. Shikaku couldn't get to finish that as chains wrapped around his neck and yanked him before launching him straight towards the Hokage's monument as a giant raccoon crashed into the stone as the civilian refugees were behind there. As they heard the rocks breaking and pelting down as the place shook, but Kushina didn't care, she pulled her chains once more. Not worrying about her chakra reserves, she was going to kill him no matter what. Because after this, she was going to see her Naruto, as she was going to be with him once this was all over. Shikaku was pissed off as he launched bullets of wind towards her. She formed a massive chain barrier and blocked them. As she stabbed him in the leg, yanking him. As Shikaku tumbled down, she launched herself. As she landed right on top of his head, where Gara was. No, no, said Shikaku. As he felt his strength being sapped apart, the chain was ripping through his head, tearing through his body. He cursed as she used her chain to subdue him and ripped him apart, forcing him to go back within the seal as the sand exploded downwards. As Gara found himself being woken up as he fell into a puddle of sand, Gara opened his eyes only to experience true, utter fear as Kushina chains shot forward and blind him as they ripped at his skin. You kill my Naruto chan, she whispered as her chains brought Gara close to her as her right claw hand extended. You're a bad boy and I'll make you suffer for killing my little baby, she said as she beat Gara into the wall and beat him down into the ground several times over until her chains were coated in blood and blood was splashing on her. But he was quite resilient. Still alive, huh? But my Naruto chan is not. So you will die, she said as she turned her chains as she was going to cleave his head right off. But then she had to move as the entire ground was ripped apart. A massive wind attack as Temari was flying on her fan. Kushina watched it perplexed as her chains were removed from her own Gara by damn chakra threats. As Temari grabbed Gara, run with him, said Konkro, as he landed right in front of Kushina. He refused to let her pass as he released his other puppet that came and fired hundreds of needles towards her. She started to change strangely as the needles pierced her, but then with a rush, they were blown out of her body as her wounds closed up. Her face started to change more feral as she moved with immense speed as she teared right into his chest with a slash. As she beat down on his neck, Conkrow cried out in pain as he released a capsule that released smoke, poison, hitting her right in the face. As she coughed, he was not immune to the poison either though. And at such close range, he dropped towards his knees, holding his bleeding chest and his shoulder where she bit into him. No run away. Naruto chan wouldn't like that as she sent her chains towards him. As Temar was on her flying fan as she looked down to her brother and the bad state that he was in. She didn't number you, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you out of here. Conqueror decided to stay behind. The damn fool, she said, it sadness in her tone. As she could hear the chains and destruction behind them, she didn't know Conqueror was dead by now. She then heard something coming towards them until it stopped. Na Naruto-chan? She heard the voice of the mad woman. 
earlier with Naruto as he was on top of Koro who was flying around as he saw the Haxabi and the Raikage fighting off the remaining sand and so ninjas as the sky started to turn dark dark clothes were already forming if it rains I'll have to get away to Koro as wet feathers did not both well with flying as chains were shot up towards it trying to grab on the Koro that woman is crazy said Koro or going above the clouds as he flew up as Naruto felt the cold yes the clothes were cold and wet you are right to the wings Naruto said as Kuro hissed once the sign of yes you know I think you're the one doing this said Naruto as he realized with Kuro circling around the clouds start to get darker and darker you think so said Kuro as he looked down towards the feet could it be the wind chakra you're using it to stay at float right then you could have this side effect said Naruto you're probably collecting the clouds great I bring the rain and the parties everyone's gonna invite me to their birthdays and weddings now well, you have a sparkling personality, so I'm sure that could level out people inviting you to your party, said Naruto, as he chuckled. He then got the idea. You think what I'm thinking, he said. I'm thinking about ramen, said Kuro. Except that, said Naruto. We could try a Naruku combination. I channel the electric chakra you go with the wind. And let's see what happens when we discharge on a cloud. Don't below us. Testing jutsu on the back of field. Well, sound just about stupid for me, said Kuro. Meanwhile, with Minato versus Orochimaru. As an army of snakes, Minato was drilling through them with his Rasengan as he heard. Edo Tensei! Minato had placed Harishin markers all over the roof so he can flash towards them avoiding the acid that the snakes spit and also their weapons on their mouth. Three coffins emerged from the ground as Urchimar chuckled. It was time for a happy reunion. Minato-kun, why don't you look who I brought to the party? Uruchimar said that teasing tone as the wall dropped as Minato eyes widened in shock. The first Okage. Founder of Konoha stood there. And the second Okage, Toborama Senju. And the third Okage, the god of shinobis. Here is in Saratobi, the professor, stood there as well. Cracks and marks all over their faces. As he was wearing his battle armor, the same that one that he was wearing that night when the Kayube was sealed within Naruto. Hirsen was piss. The man was piss. Minato. I'm ashamed for have chosen you, he spat with nothing but rage in his tone as the bloodlust and the rage shocked even Urchimaru by just a single glance. Your lust for power. I saw your action vibrating through the other world. I saw the pain you inflict on your own son. And for that, I will show you no mercy. It had to be done, Minato yelled back. He risked destroying the village if left alone. You fool, you use strength instead of words. You use hate and anger instead of love. Look around. Kanoha is being saved. Not by you, but by Donzo. He understands his blindness. Far more than you could. Look around, damn it. Look around, yours and shouted. Look and see the city be saved by Kumo and Naruto. And Minato indeed, look. And when brought down to servitude, your son is still thinking about others instead of himself. It's a pity. I never got a chance to meet him in life. Minato pulled out three scrolls as he unrolled them. I'm the good guy in this, he roared as it was an explosion, scattering of kunais all around. And I will not hear the words of Urchimar puppets. Uruchimar placed a kunai in the third who dashed off without Urchimar saying a single word. His body is captured but his words are his to say. The first and second then joined into the fray as well. The second Okage brought darkness while the first brought the feel itself. As the wood style started to grow, as Minota had to move as he dodged a thick stream of mud coming from the third Okage's mouth. The mud then became a river, and it turned into a dragon that spew mud bullets towards Minato, destroying the roof. Minato flashed away in the darkness. He realized he was falling. Perhaps a tree growth has moved. His kunai, as he switched place that instant, only to feel a swift kick as he vanished once again, as he was then assaulted once again. As he was assaulted badly before he vanished away, as he reappeared once again in the darkness. This time, however, he had a Rasengan as he spin and drive it into the target. But it passed right through the person, and he received a nasty kick in the back. Such a pity. No matter how hard you hate them, Minato, they will always regenerate, Urchimar said, with a chuckle. The next moment he stopped chuckling as he was grabbed by the shoulders by Minato. Same thing that happened for the other three Hokages as her clones emerged and grabbed each and every one of them. Urchimar cursed, you waited for me to talk, so you knew where everyone was. As Minato activated his plan, Shiki Fujin, as the clones, as they replicate the same thing, the Shingami emerging. You're going to die as well, you fool, Urchimar ranted. So beat. 
I will not have him destroy this village. Remove the barrier or die, Urchmaru. Urchmar curse. Could he pull this stunt again? If the barrier was removed, there was no guarantee that Stone 4 could actually do anything before the right hack and his people arrived. As his forces were losing, the sand was losing. He wanted this to know how about he done some damage to the village. He wanted to humiliate the Hokage. And he did. Sasuke Uchiha was meant to be retrieved together with Naruto. As she hoped that Karen managed to convince the Uchiha boy. Katsume, it was her job to talk Naruto. But he didn't know if she would fail or not. But if she did, she was expendable. Remove the barrier, Urchmar, as I did in a second. As then a flash of thunder and electricity joined into the fray. As it revealed that Urchmaru was being held by a clone of Minato. The real Minato was holding on to her son. The woman in Sun for land beside Urchimaru, Urchimaru sama The son in San Shinobis had not come to reinforce the assault. Those useless tracks said Jirobo. We're leaving, said Urchimaru. As he spew a snake from his mouth that released an explosive tag and blew right up before he could do anything. As him and his son for fled, as Minato realized again Jutsu was still in place as a darkness was still filling the area. Not to mention a third was not going to be restrained for too long. Aren't those two supposed to be dead? Said A. As Minota had to jump back away from Sartobi. As the reanimation started attack. As A fought back. What the hell's going on? The region rating. Orochimaru summoned the dead. Yell Minato. Before I lost my sight I saw him implant. Kuna is in their heads. A delivered a layer towards the second Okagi. As he hit him right in the head. Taking off his head. As he smashed it open and ripped out the ceiling tag and ripped it apart. In the same instant he was saying fly the tree, slam into his back and launching it towards the wall as he broke into it. Father, get away from the roof, Naruto shouted. As the right Kage pulled himself and looked up as he saw the cloud above them, it was charged with wind, electricity and rain. As Minato moved away quickly as well, the two remaining Hokage standing there. As he moved off, Kuro, Naruto, combination. Thunderstrike Valley, said Naruto, as a volley of thunderstorm burst on the cloud and incinerated everything on that roof. Damn, he sure packs a punch, Raikage said, with a proud smile, as B was watching the scene as he had a lot of civilians, helpless people behind him, as he was currently in his hat to be formed. The little bro is a force of nature, that's got to cause a hell of a chucker of course, the bro is gonna need a nurse. So we gotta find him a cute one, said B, we might even find him a... As he realized that all the siblings were glaring at him, those of them with children there had to cover their ears. Oops, he said as he reverted to his normal form. Meanwhile, with the third, it was strange. Being a body, without a mind, attack, use jutsus, attack. And with the unlimited chakra he could cause, so much destruction. But he was currently thinking about Minato, and how Minato had failed him. He had been chosen for a sunny attitude, his uncorrupted soul. What a blind man years and had been. Hiruzen had saw it all, that poor boy who didn't deserve any of it, had been through much. Hiruzen knew that he should be blamed as well after all he was the one who took Minato and stopped him because he believed that Minato was the right person to lead the village and he sacrificed his life. As a technique, as a lightning had come down and ripped apart the seal and tagging his head, Urchimaru must be recalled in the jutsu as he could feel himself fading away. As he stood there as he looked at Minato, as the Raikage was over to the other side. Know this, Minato. The other world awaits you. Repent while you still have time because Shinigami will tear your evil soul apart. When you meet each other, as Hiruzen's soul freed itself from a technique, then there was silence. But not for long. All the darkness was gone as Minato saw Kushina half transform. As he cursed at that, the right hag in the other hand grinned. Minato was already battered and weakened after using the high so much time. As suddenly, Root members appear on him and place several chakra suppressing seal on him, stopping his movements. And the fifth Hokage emerged. Minato no Mikaze, as fifth Hokage of Kanoha, you have been sentenced to life in imprisonment. And it goes without saying, you have been stripped of your title. Minato was shocked. But someone hit him in the back of the head as he fell unconscious. He couldn't even get to say anything. As the right Kage and Hatsubi went down there. Given the fact that that woman was losing control and destroying everything and there were still some civilian people around as they took her down. She had killed her bodyguards and slaughtered some people on accident but Danzo also placed her in life imprisonment with her husband in prison. Afterwards Danzo sighed 
He left the shadows and yet, now he had to deal with so much paperwork. One thing however he knew, he made the right choice because he knew that boy, Naruto of Kumo was going to become one of the strongest allies of Konoha, he hoped. As he looked outside he saw thousands of Naruto helping. As he made the boy a promise, and he too kept to his word, so he would keep the peace, he would let the boy leave the village. Konoha and Kumo alliance will be as strong as ever, it had taken a single day to organize everything for Naruto's departure. As Raikage was happy about it, he would finally get his son back. As some might not like not having a Jinjouke, but Kumo was their ally and with Naruto keeping his bargain, everything would go fine. It was strange, Danzo trusted the boy, and that was strange, he didn't understand why. He who never really trusted anyone. As he reviewed the permission from the ninjas who want to go to Kumo, as it would move and make a stronger alliance between their village. To have ninjas from Kumo come here and Konoha ninjas went towards Kumo. Uncle Midorashi was approved for next month. Sakura Haruno was not approved because he had yet to become a Chunin level Konoichi and he also noticed a certain Tuki and Ayam Ichiraku both asking for transfer permission. Well, Danzo shrugged. Today he felt happy. Kanoha was being rebuilt rather quickly. As they were still the strongest, they were able to take out the sound and also the sand rather quickly for interfering. He would have his field time with them, but not now. Right now, he was happy. Someone rushed into his office. Danzo sama, the Anfu Bao. What is it, Danzo said? The Namikazes. They both escaped. And Captain Yamato is missing as well. As all of that happiness quickly left his face. For the one time when he released himself to feel happy and yet, now comes this bullshit. Thanks, Skip. The sun was warmly basking on the roofs that was repaired by a courtesy of 100 Naruto clones. As he thought it would be a nice gesture on him leaving in good terms. He did after all refrain from telling them about the invasion and some life were lost although his snakes did help out a lot. Still, the horrible treatment that he had suffered seeming to be cancelled out by the couple of Kanoa shinobis that died within this invasion as it was more than a handful. Donzo was going through great lengths to have them leave actually quite early as the Raikage did not care about anything when it comes towards a man despite him trying to brainwash Naruto a long time ago well the Raikage was still pissed about that but he will have his son back at his own village and that was all he ever wanted as Naruto was at Kanoha gates ready to leave hoping never to return ever again as a kidnapped kid he wasn't alone however but they were kind of overreacting as they were trapping him in a small box all of them seemed to be surrounding him with the Rui, B, C, and Saya as well. He was no longer the crime. Chain bundle away, baby, a long time ago. He was no strong and he had a control of his power. He had a grasp of everything and he had strong allies, strong friends. Sure, the fox still wanted to escape, but she too kept quiet. Yes, she was quiet. Well, a quietness every now and then was good. The first one that came there to tell him goodbye, which was quite shocking, was Kakashi. As the man had tears of joy in his eyes, as he handed a bottle of grey, Guy to Naruto, the, well, color is here grey, a half mask just like his, and a collection of books, which made C quite curious. Guy since he was in the hospital with Lee, who was undergoing a serious operation to get his youthful spirit back, as Yagura had told him, as Ayam and Toki seemed rather mysterious about something. As they said that they will hear from him very soon. As uncle hugged him and she gave him. Dango. A lot of it. A great gift for her. Someone like her. Who would love Dango to the point of never sharing it. As Yakumo had come and she hugged him. She hugged him tightly. As she told him that she will get as strong as him. When they see each other again she will be stronger. As she just held on to him. A bit too longer than expected. Given the fact that no one is breaking him apart. At least this time. She hold him. Even the Hokage came to say his farewells. One person who had showed up was Lady Snaddy. She seemed to be in the operation. And strangely enough, Sakura did not show up. Perhaps she thought it would be seen as her clinging to him. And probably she didn't want that. Because she said that she would get stronger on her own. On his shoulder, after months of not being with him, Euro was on his shoulder. Hey boss, it's a pity that we're gonna have to abandon some of the equipment and such a good base at the Forest of Death. But do you think you can convince your father to give us some capes? Not suspending mid ear. As Nurt looked towards Raikage, you know, even I feel a bit dizzy when I'm in those caves, said Naruto. 
because I was worried that one of those steel bars are gonna fall, and then I went job to my death. As he was talking about the giant caves in Kumo on the mountain tops that were suspended in mid air, because if those steel bars fell out, well, you will drop from a high, high distance. Yo, bro, it's time to talk. Run away from us and not saying a word. What's up with that? Ask me. Well, let's get a bit more distance away from Kanoha Senruto. As he looked towards his father, wouldn't want you to run back to the village. As Ares I brown, as he was already getting angry, as he knew that something bad happened, Gaga asked, what's with that necklace, Axie? As he saw that thing on Root Neck for a while now. Well, I should have given it back to Bachan, but she said I could keep it if I was still alive after the invasion. So that means it's mine now, said Naruto. And since I'm now free as a flying snake, there's no need to fret. If she ever wanted, she'll come back to Kumo for it, said Naruto. Why do you look older, Saya asks. Sure, she was still pissed off about everything, but he promised that he would explain and she would wait. So for right now, she was keeping her calm. But she really wanted to know why do you look older. I actually thought about that too. What the hell's going on, said the Rui. Oh well, I was in a village, well, Taki, and I accidentally boiled the water into a sauna, and it got destroyed, and I guess some of it slipped into me, said Naruto, into my pores, and I kind of dropped right into it, and swallowed a lot of it. The next day, bam, I was growing. It should stabilize though by the time my body reached the 25 or 30 mark. Iron Claw! He quickly blocked himself, but to be surprised, it was not at him, as Naruto was hit with the Iron Claw from the Raikage, as Yoru had saw it coming at last skin and jumped right off Naruto and landed right on Saya. Hmm. My father was just the same way, Yoru said. Maybe I did something wrong, smacking me with his tail. Oh, hey pretty lady. You know any sneaky chan back at your village? Asked Yoru. Saya rolled her eyes. She was not gonna play couple up with a damn snake that was unladylike. Ow! What was that for? said Naruto. As he picked himself up as Yoru, jumped back on his shoulder. You idiot. How could you say that you're gonna age fast, lose years of life within months? And you can't even bother to be worried about it. Well, I'm worried about it, the Raikagi said. You'll be at 30 years old in aspect, in a what? Couple more years when you're just supposed to be a teenager? For Shinobi, that means already getting over his prime. It's your life. And it's starting to piss me off that you're not showing your pain. You are no longer in that village and you're coming back home. As Nurka scratched the back of his neck, you see that. It doesn't really matter, he said. While I was a prisoner, all I wanted to do was come back home and become the next Raikagi. I don't want the position for power. I want to protect the people from harm. To protect those who can't protect themselves. Aging is a plus in this case because it means I can do more. And also my muscle mass, he said, will increase swiftly. I got weights that now far less surpass those of Lee because they grow faster. My chakra coils, they're expanding on a daily basis. I've got so much chakra. I got at least 20 times your amount, father, said Naruto. 20 times. I can pretty much bathe the entire surface of Komo with chakra and have enough to summon Kuro five times. And knowing this, it makes me happy because I'll have enough strength to protect everyone I care about and protect the entire hidden cloud with being Raikage, said Naruto. I can't stop this aging process, but at least somehow it's helping, said Naruto. And all I can do is look forward to the day when you will choose me as their successor. Well, that is if you do choose me, said Naruto. But I'll protect Kumo nevertheless. Cool, said Darui. As the Raikai can be exchanged a glance, as the both of them understand what that nod meant as they gave each other. Seems like he was growing up. After a few minutes, Yoru made a joke about a kangaroo. As everyone laughed as he broke the tension. Two weeks of traveling later, something happened as he felt the place rumbling. It's Yujito, in Biju form, and she's running fast. And she's also pissed, said C. As B sigh as he transformed. This brings back memory, said Naruto as you remember. B catching the train, but this time, he was not catch Abiju. A few moments later, the impact took place as Mantabe was placed down towards the ground to calm herself down. Hey there, said Naruto as he waved. It seems that the strength did not matter anymore as Mantabe threw the details right off of her as she started like Naruto. What happened? You're alright, are you? You little cuddly, strony thing. Manitabi chan will take care of you now, okay? As the cat flame tongue did not burn him, as she could control her temperature, as it made Naruto laugh because it tickled. Hey, I want to turn with him, you know? Wait in line, said Manitabi as she licked Naruto until his hair was spiking upwards, until Yujito finally emerged. As she grabbed him without hesitation as she squeezed him, his face fell right into her chest due to the increase in height, but she did not care as she held on to him. 
as Saya had fainted, a giant, cat licking the boy. Well, she had fainted, as Naruto was literally dying. Until Yuro hit her on the arm with his tail, as she realized she was squeezed in too tight, as he took in a deep breath. Boss, we're far enough from Konoha now you can begin explaining. The Raikage looked towards Yujito, knowing that she knew something to run all the way out here in her habitual form. Yet she knew something they did not know. As Naruto sat down as she grabbed him, given the height difference, they were relatively almost on the same height. But she wouldn't be leaving his side for a long, long, long while now. As everyone sat down as Naruto told them everything, he did not hold back a single piece of information. He told them every single thing. Everyone refused to move as Yuru had to make his way and grab some wood so he could light a fire. By the time he finished a small campfire had already been prepared by Yuru. Well, one loses innocence eventually. In the world of a ninja, there is no black or white, only grey. The right guy he said, and I can't fault you for doing what you did to survive. But damn, that woman was surely messed up. Yeah bro, that had to be some scary shit you went through yo. I'm not going to sleep tonight said Saya. What if she became a ghost? Rattling chains all around. C looked around, as he wondered if his sensory skills work on ghosts as well. Right now everything was calm, and he would hope it would stay that way. That is why I was running back to Konoha to save him, even if it meant leave my post and become the missing ninja, she said. I was gonna get him away from those monsters. You still left without my authorization, said A. I'm ready to accept my punishment, she said. Fine then. Hmm. You will clean the Kumo AV area and don't eat any hawks while they're in there. That was my topic. She said she wanted to taste one, said Yujito. It was my favorite ox, said the Raikage, and it took weeks to convince the other scare hawks to go back. Got something from Pop's boss, don't you worry. I'll be back soon, as he poofed away. Well, I'll have to find a cave big enough for Kuro. He's grown really big. Maybe can have him and the others transfer inside of the electric farm cave. Yeah, a couple more holes in that mountain and you get a airport. Think about it, bro. A snake airline, said B. As a eyebrow twitch, and how would they fly with storms all around them? Well, Kuro can kind of direct clouds, so he can move them out of the way, said Naruto. That's actually a good idea, said A. So, tune exams will be in 5 years again. I did reach the finals, but against Naruto san, I stood no chance. I wonder though, how did you avoid my Genjutsu? I wasn't fighting alone, said Naruto, as he smirked. I had my snakes. When they beat you, they also beat me to bring me out of the Genjutsu. But your bites had a bit of sedative in it to place you to sleep. I'm not that good at Genjutsu, but I'm gonna work on it, said Naruto. But with my snakes, I can get out of pretty much a lot of Genjutsus. Well, except for Yakumos. Well, that is not a normal Genjutsu. She can turn Genjutsu into reality. Neat ability, said Yujito. So she can make an illusion of you and make it real? Well, she could create the physical aspect, but it will last only long enough. As long as she has chocolate to maintain it, and it will move according to her whims. But I don't actually know about speaking. Good, then there's only one Naruto chance at Yujito. As Naruto shaved her a bit, she held on to him. Sorry about that, she said. As from what she heard from the story of that woman, that red-headed bitch, she kept on calling him Naruto Chan, and he seemed to have scarred him mentally. Well, I should promote you to Chunin, Naruto, said the Raikage. Huh? As Naruto was surprised where that sentence came from. Son, I saw you battle against three of your peers, without breaking a single sweat, and you went above and beyond to help the village. You could have abandoned it after everything you done, but you did it. You helped out despite everything you went through because of the alliance. You kept a cool head and that combination attack you reduced the entire building to cinders along with the Hokage. That's a feat many would boast about repeatedly, but you don't. I would go straight towards joining promotion to hell with people yelling about favoritism, but I think that you need some time as a chonin in your peers to work more on your team leading. But I can work well in teams, said Naruto. No. You can work well with your snakes. You haven't yet commanded a team and work well with them. You're a strong son, that much I know. But you need to understand there's people that are strong like you in other areas. So you will enter a four-man chunin squad and get some work done under the belt. Fine, said Naruto. But I want dibs on the pork. As Saya turned towards Dori, she was confused by the words. Hakeda has just only so much ramen in his shop. They call dibs on what they want to eat. And they eat it until it's finished. So when you call dibs on the pork, well, there will be none left. Saya shook her head, just like Naruto. Time skip. Three days later, they were passing through the land of spring. But it was different now as it had grass. Yes, trees, butterflies. The snow was gone. 
as they took their stay inside of the Daimyo's palace. As her real name was Koyuki, not Yuki. And Naruto rather missed ramen. So the entire city ramen collection was now gone. Well, said Koyuki, that would teach me not to bet anything against you in the future ever again. As she couldn't actually believe that the boy ate so much ramen. I never lose a bet actually. Must be my good luck, said Naruto. Good luck in games mean poor luck in love, said C. As Koyuki laughed at that, please, if a girl doesn't see the splendor in Naruto soul, then she's not a good girl, but a blind fool. I wouldn't mind talking about connecting our alliance even more strongly with a political marriage as Yuchito would nearly choke on her food as the right tag and be laugh as Naruto was blushing. I'm sure dad wouldn't mind. He was talking about being single at his age. I kind of wonder if as Naruto was grabbed in the iron claw as it made me laugh as he grabbed him double iron claw. Well, I think my brother still needs to grow wiser. He's still 13 years old said Yuchito. As Koyuki smiled and looked towards Yujito, yet there was a sparkle in both of their eyes, like lightning clashing together. I say, honorable, elder sister. That was a nice way to refer to someone as you old hag. It might have been a profitable way to strengthen the alliance between our country. And I was not exactly speaking about Naruto Kun. But now, he's speaking my interests. I would like to get to know his skills. As she got Yujito that way. As Naruto would have laughed, but nah. He wouldn't chance it, but he then noticed something. S everything was fine. Yeah, sure everything is fine and yet I'm still in here. You mean it's fine for me to be in here? I mean everything is fine. Things like this don't happen. That's calmly. Things never stay calm for too long. You should be more optimistic. Come on, life is good nice. And nothing bad will happen. Now go and take a nice nap. Remove those chains around my cage. And enjoy yourself. Nice try, but no, said Naruto. You evil, brooding emo. That is what you are, said the fox. As Naruto rolled his eyes, he was indeed tired as he wanted to get some sleep. After three weeks, everything was fine, right? Nothing bad would happen as he got to the room. It was warm and nice. He was no longer in enemy territory. As he took off his clothes and remained in his boxers and slipped under the comfort. As he snuggled up, a smile on his face as he fell asleep. He also took off his clothing so his jacket was placed over to the side. That was when a man, a blonde man waited for the boy to fall asleep. Yes, he waited until the boy was fast asleep as he carefully slipped out of his sleeve a paper with some markings on it. It was easy to get into the room without even touching the door. After all, his signature technique just needed markings. Meanwhile, Sakura, weeks earlier, she was shocked to what she saw on the notice board. Sasuke Uchiha was being searched. Alive or dead. But his eyes were to be brought back towards Hokage if he was dead after leaving the village. Another note the discovery that Kazakagi was murdered and that it was Urchumar that forced their hand. There wasn't much resentment between the sand. Although, Konoha and Kumo were planning on ending those snakes stunned once and for all by taking down the sound. Sakura had woken up in the hospital she heard that Naruto survived with a giant black snake. With the help of the Raikage they took out the forces. At the moment, things were going good for her she finally started to use chakra instead of scalpels and tools as she could use the chakra scalpels now. She kind of wondered if Naruto was doing the same thing, training, improving and getting stronger. Her request to be one of the transfer towards Kumo was denied. Given the fact that she wasn't a Chunin yet, Kakashi only trained her and Yagura now since Sasuke left and they were bound to get another replacement soon enough. It was starting to circulate that Team 7 was cursed and she was going to be the next one to get replaced. As she was currently going to make her way down towards the cellar, but someone grabbed her arm. You're coming with me. She still had her mask on, as a woman with large, giant breasts grabbed her and brought her inside of a room, where a purplier woman was yelling at a man. As she was angry, but the man was not in a good state at all. He was in a bad, bad state, as the machine's attached was bleeping badly. It looked like someone had toyed with his ribs, as he had several slashes. This. Is all your damn fault. You're not going to die. You hear that? Today is not going to be the day when I lose you, she said. When everyone is still busy fixing up Kanoha, you have to go and get critical today. Well, I'm not losing you, you hear me? Bring her out, Snelly said, and keep her out. The woman was wearing a medical bracelet. Yes. And the clothing. She looked like she had just given birth. As Sakura helped the woman and sat next to her. He's going to make it right, said Yujiu. As Sakura looked at the bracelet and saw her name, 
as the girl was a uh, envoy. But she let her emotions got the better of her. Everything was going so well, they were keeping the relationship a secret until she was going to go on maternity leave from Anvu. But then, he had to act like the damn idiot he was and propose to her. But she was happy. And when the day finally came, she was delighted. She was more than happy. But then, it all happened so quickly. The throat of the nurse that helped her deliver the baby was sliced by Minato. Hayate had came in to help her, but he was tackled by this strange beast. As what she saw was a claw, red hand, and red hair, and the Hokage grabbed her baby. She was too weak, too tired to do anything about it, as she passed out from the stress of everything. When she woke up, Hayate was in that state. Sakura didn't know all of this. She didn't know that someone stole a child though, wounding and killing. And stolen a child, but she didn't know all of this that the woman saw. Snedi Sam is the best medical ninja in the world. I'm sure that you'll be fine in your hands. That damn man said Eugeo. To think he was being considered a hero as she clenched her fist. Who? Sakura said. The fourth goddamn Pokagi, that's who. He came in with his speed and all to try to kidnap my child and Hayate went up against him. It was a red haired beast however that got him. But he shouldn't have gone up against the Hokage and beaten him repeatedly when he get out of this. Sakura eyes went widen. The fourth Hokage escaped. He escaped with a red hair. Oh god. His wife. They hear the news of his reign of terror and how Danzo brought her into it. Thus, he was granted permission to return to Kumo, and the Shinobi exchange had been put in place instead. The fourth wife out, and she was gonna go after Tears came in her eyes. As Yuji looked towards the girl, she should be the one crying, so why? You alright? No. Naruto is in danger. Meanwhile, at the spring, C tensed up. Something was wrong. Both him and Yoru were sitting down, drinking tea. The boat had them had a common thing with spicy foods and traditional tea, but something was wrong. So as I was saying, father, is having everyone fly straight towards Kumo, so he would be unable to do much. As he checked everyone's chakra, B and E was outside. Darui was talking with the sword master. Yujito was spending some girl time with Saya, and Naruto was in his room, his chakra, twirling around. And twirling? Around? No, no, no. Naruto chakra burned hot like a furnace and yet it was twirling lazily. He rushed towards Naruto's room and threw open the door as he saw a servant tied up with a seal on him, restraint. Naruto, he wasn't here. No, not again, he said. Not again what, said Yoru, as he stopped right at the door. As he didn't see Naruto anywhere. Hey, you locked! As the jacket trembled, as snakes came out of it. What happened? What's going on? As the snakes hissed, as Yoru eyes saw, he could see the hot temperature in the room. That was fading away. That is why you don't keep prisoners, you execute them. As he looked towards C, he took him. C eyes widened as he dashed forward to warn the right Hage. As he turned the corner, he had to stop as he nearly cracked into Yujito. As she had a couple of comforters in her hand. I wonder if Nurtikon is comfy enough, she said. As Yoru arrived, you're on your own. You're the century ninja. As he moved off, I'm going to warn the right Hage and disperse. As Yujito turned towards C. What does he mean by that? Seagull. He. He. He was captured. As she threw him out of the way and rushed into the room, her eyes became murderous. The next moment, the giant Nibby, as she burst through the window in her human form before transforming, we have to find him as she started to sniff the ear. As B and the right Kagi was doing some exercise, they were going to teach her to layer it when they get back. The next thing they knew, it's a fully transformed Nibby was standing there. At that moment, Yoru. Stick her next to them. What's wrong with her? He asks. I wonder if it's her. He was kidnapped by Minato in his room. As that cut me off. The snakes in his jacket could do nothing. The man came, grabbed him, and disappeared in a flash, leaving behind the real attendant. We don't know where he brought him, but I'm gonna call Pops to try and see if he can resummon him. Since Nerd isn't here, however, you're gonna have to wait until we get Homo, Pops, and the others. As Yoru poofed away after saying that, Yujito was loose in her mind. She could not sniff out his scent. It was just like that time. That time when he was there, on the bridge, and then he was gone and she couldn't smell him anymore. Yujito, calm down the Raikage said. As she looked down towards the Raikage, as the fire was burning her eyes. But it was nothing but grief and sadness. I, I can't find him. I, how could I let this happen again? As she started to drop back to her human form. We weren't in Kumo yet. I shouldn't have let my guard down. Damn it, she said she punched the ground hard, breaking it. Whew. Who took him? It was an Amikaze, said Darui. Him? 
him again as she roared in anger. Come on, Ted, stay with us. We'll save the bro again, said B. He's gonna be fine. Trust me, he'll still be alive. It's Naruto after all. As she took several deep breaths to calm herself. I'm gonna let you go now, said B. But you have to act calm. It would sadden the bro. If you were, to lose your charm. As he let the hacks to be arms, go back inside of him. What do we do now, she says. She looked towards the Raikage. The bastard's a seal expert from Chalker's suppression to camouflage. Plus, it's harishing techniques, making can teleport like a damn prince and queen around the damn area. If he got free, did he also free that mad woman as well? Well, if he did, Naruto is probably still alive. She cared for him, although the wrong type, but she doesn't want him to die. No, said C. If her psyche is really broken to the point of not recognizing him, she would try to kill him. She would see him as someone that is trying to taint the image of her son. Because Naruto right now doesn't look like Naruto of the past. And she, as he lowered his head. So what do we do now, said Yujito, her voice. It wasn't hopeful. We go back to Kumo. Only thing we can hope on right now is Kuro getting back. He saved my son once. Let's hope he can replicate the feat. That is all they could do now. Hope. Hope that he was alive. And hope that everything was going to be fine. But guys, be in subscribe right here. If you want to see next person do, like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn the bell notifications they posted. Remember, share to all of your friends in social media platform. And also, stay tuned for the rest of what is coming your way over in the making 3. And remember, if you're new in this verse and you hear my voice, yes, I have three channels and the making and the making 2 and the making 3, which I post what you find every single day for you guys to enjoy. So, yeah, without further ado, what do you say? Give a hello to you. See you guys soon. Peace.